Another fall theme that I have is I wanted to get kind of like an assortment of like, we're gonna do this as well. Yeah. And it has been really chilly this morning. Oh my God. Hello, hello, and welcome back to another vlog. So I'm just coming back from doing a little bit of yoga. I actually brought my cousin with me this time and it was so much fun. I wish I would have like actually recorded something, but I just felt like because it was my first time being there, I wanted to just be like, like fully focused, just being there and being in the moment. Yeah, I feel so relaxed right now. Like I think you can kind of tell in my eyes, like I'm just kind of feeling a little sleepy. <laughs> Um, but like my body just feels so good and it's just nice because yoga is just so good for pregnancy and really good for strengthening the body. Okay. Right. And so this is my cousin, my cousin Adriana. Hello. Yeah. Say hello to the vlog. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead and go to a coffee shop and have some fun today. So we're headed to Mercantile Coffee and Feed. Um, but I think we need to cross over here actually. Yeah. Sorry. I just wanted to get a good shot of uh, the coffee shop, but anyways, so we're gonna get some coffee. I've never been to this coffee shop before, but my other cousin uh, recommended it. You know, since we're having a day, I decided to take my other cousin here, Adriana, um, to this coffee shop. So we'll let you know how we like it. <laughs> the chai Ooh, that could be a good one so this coffee shop is relatively new and I just love how they had some fall drinks and fall decor all around I also just feel like this whole block needed a new coffee shop and I just feel like the amount of space was perfect for even just college students who need to study or you know people who work from home who want a place to work or even host some fun events like I just think there's so much potential to this new coffee shop We just found these pumpkin waffle candles and they're so good. Oh man. How cute is this? Yeah, it's like the gradient. The fact that it just looks like like a little dessert, you know? <laughs> oh, they're all different. Yeah, so that's the difference. at the mall and I'm basically just trying to find like something comfy but cute I just feel like things are just not fitting right right now with my pregnant belly so I just need to like find like something that's easy to like put on yeah so we're here at American Eagle I did find something that I'm probably not gonna end up getting but I'm just holding on to it We're at Bath and Body Works, just kind of smelling things, and I think you wanted to find a body spray, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You should get it. Oh my God, that one's perfect, and you have a sparkly one too. Oh my God. Good. What can help you find today? Oh my God. It's got the whole stuff in there. Yeah. So I'm here on a bench because my sciatic nerve pain is acting up, and I just can't seem to walk right now 
So I'm just gonna take it easy and just sit down for a little bit. I'm glad that I got a new like sweater to wear that's like super baggy, it's perfect. My cousin's buying her strawberry pound cake um, body mist. Um, it's a really good scent, honestly. I highly recommend it if you've never uh, smelled that one. I feel like recently I've just been getting more into Bath and Body Works and their scents and stuff. It's a fun store to go to. It's like aromatherapy, you know? So it is currently sprinkling a little bit. It was hailing earlier, apparently, but we were fortunately inside the mall. But now we're heading home, and it just, I feel like the weather's just starting to feel like fall. You know, like it's getting colder, it's in the 50s. Oh, I love the crisp air. <laughs> like I'm such a fall girl, you guys. Like it's, it's where I thrive. I love cold weather. <laughs> Last night it got to 33 degrees and it has been really chilly this morning in our house so we definitely turned on the heater and that's why I'm all bundled up right now in this flannel and this little turtleneck but yeah this is the flannel that I got um, at American Eagle the other day and I got a size large because I'm anticipating this baby bump to grow and be a lot bigger than it is now so I'm just trying to make sure I am comfy this you know cold season and this turtleneck I've had for like a couple of years at this point and I feel like it's now serving its purpose because I think before I just felt like it was too big and I just didn't really like wearing it but it's perfect for my pregnancy and I feel like all of this just really hides everything too <laughs> so and it's also just really stylish and nice for the winter season but yeah I've just been kind of working on um, the baby registry this morning and getting it ready because we're planning to have my baby shower um, like the first weekend of December so just trying to get all that done and also my guest list done um, but yeah this is I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I'll just screen record a little bit, but I'm really excited. It's really coming together, you know. It's just fun having a baby girl and all the fun baby girl stuff that they have. I think like before, I used to not really be super girly, but I think like just having a baby girl just kind of brings out the girliness in me. And I just want to be, you know, in my, feminine energy even more so but yeah we are halfway through October and I just can't believe it you know I just feel like October's been flying by and I've also just been um, looking at my YouTube statistics for the year because if you if you haven't seen this video where I actually created this life binder this is something that I've been kind of looking back on um, throughout this year and whether it's like you know my uh, affirmations or my YouTube statistics um, you know my lifestyle that I want to have because we only have three no two and a half months left in the year you guys it's it's approaching quickly um, the end of the year or we're approaching the end of the year really quickly but this is my YouTube statistics and as you can see I've just kind of been like writing tally marks and you know of how many videos I've uploaded short reels subscribers and watch hours and I just feel really proud of myself like I know like you know it's been kind of a bumpy road for sure like looking at the beginning of the year but I've definitely made so much progress starting I think the month of July was when things really started like increasing for me and we're really close to my goals which is really exciting I do feel like there are certain goals that I have put in here that I just haven't really worked on and Maybe that's something that I can do during this holiday season, like especially reading. <laughs> I 
I'm so bad at reading you guys and I think it's more so like I like reading like what is it fictional books but I need to do more of like self-help books you know things that are gonna actually help me in the long run but yeah so we need to get on that me Mr. Jack needs some attentions it's usually around this time I feel like he needs a lot more attention and like everybody else is taking their afternoon naps but it takes a while to take his naps <laughs> I feel like I'm talking about a baby here but no this is a kitty <laughs> he's making biscuits on my sweater <laughs> but anyways so I just got um, a little dolled up you know I straightened my hair and put on some makeup as per usual I'm probably gonna do like another OOTD today <clears throat> especially since I got so these are the two clothing articles that I got at American Eagle and feeling so comfy in these and I think it'll be good because today the highest it's gonna be is 60 degrees oh yeah, I will be. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to be comfortable because I do have to go to FedEx to print out some trust for my husband because I'm basically his secretary for printing out those trusts and, you know, putting them in the binders and putting in the sticky notes and shipping them. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and so I tend to like to look a little, a little professional or at least a little dolled up um, before or when I go. What's the name? Look how snuggly he is. He is just so snuggly right now, oh my God. I love all my kitties. Ugh, I love them so much. They make me so happy. <laughs> I do not know where your paws have been, mister. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like that. I don't. But um, before we go, I'm actually gonna go ahead and make some lunch because I'm definitely hungry. Say goodbyes. Come here. <laughs> Come here. So I'm actually heating up some leftovers that my husband made the other day, which was so good. I feel like it reminded me of like Thanksgiving dinner, but it was like mashed potatoes and steak and some green beans. It was so good, you guys. So this is what it looks like. And there was a broth too that he put on top of this, like a little gravy, um, and it was so good. I don't know if I served myself too much meat, but I definitely could use protein right now so that it sustains me. My husband just knows how to cook and season things really well, especially meats. Like, yes, chef's kiss. So there's this other YouTuber that I'm like super into. Her name is Melanie Patricia Cruz. She does a lot of fitness, but she also just like, she's Latina, I think. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and she's like tatted, like she, she also has a nose ring. You know, she does healthy eating, but also she's like into like the holiday season and like really like decking things out and making sure like her vibe's cozy, you know? And I just feel like, I totally vibe with that. I vibe with this girl, like she's really cool. So she recently did a Trader Joe's haul and it got me thinking, I wanna do a Trader Joe's haul on my video, like as part of my fall series. So I definitely wanna do that this weekend with my husband, go to Trader Joe's and get all these pumpkin like flavored things. Cause like there was like pumpkin yogurt that I saw that she bought, pumpkin oatmeal, like, so there was just like different things that she got that I was like, I want to go there too. Because <laughs> I honestly have not been to Trader Joe's while we've lived here. And there's definitely one around here. I just haven't been yet. So I just feel like it would be a really fun experience. And also I just want to make the most out of October and make the most of pumpkin season. Because we are already halfway through October. And I just cannot believe it, you guys. So we are here at FedEx and you know I brought my binder to put these trusts in and my sticky notes and all that stuff so we're gonna do that I tried to get 
I tried to get an appointment for my eyebrows today while I'm out on this side of the this side of town, but I guess they're booked today. Um, maybe I can call and see if I can do a drop-in. Because it's weird, like, I think since, like, COVID, they just did a lot of, like, appointments only because they didn't want, like, that many people there at the shop. So, and they've still just had it like that. So, we'll see. So as promised, I made it to Trader Joe's and this is actually the only Trader Joe's in the area. The only one, you guys. So that's why I just have never been and it's also just like really like in Lexington, you know? So it's kind of a kind of a drive, I guess. Um I mean not not terrible, obviously. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. It is packed, you guys. I think people are trying to get their last minute pumpkin because all these stores are just like pushing out Christmas. And I get we are in the middle of October and heading towards the end of it. But like, again, I'm still trying to enjoy my pumpkin. I'm still trying to enjoy October and the fall season. Like we haven't even hit November yet, you know? Come join us. Let's do this together. I'm so excited to um, bring you guys along with me to Trader Joe's. So we're picking out some pumpkins right now. Um, just like some centerpieces because we're still going to go to the pumpkin patch. But I wanted to get kind of like an assortment of like orange ones and white ones, the tiger ones. I kind of like this one. Yeah, I think I want to do these. We're going to do this as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh yeah, that's the one. So one of the things that this girl got from Trader Joe's was the pumpkin uh, yogurt and I'm beyond excited for, to try that one. So we're going to grab a couple of those as well. ended up getting the Kentucky Bluegrass State Trader Joe's bag because you guys we have lived here for two years and I just wanted a little souvenir from Trader Joe's because they have like Trader Joe's bags from every state so of course you gotta you gotta have something you know um, and then this is what it looks like on the other side oh I'm so excited for all these goodies you guys you guys have no idea another fall theme that I have is the things that I keep in my purse. Basically, I found this at Target. It's a pumpkin and tonka hand lotion because, you know, gotta keep your hands nice and moisturized, especially during this cold season. You know, you don't want those cracks in your uh, palm of your hands and stuff. But then I also, uh, this, this one I actually got, I think at the end of the summer, like in August or something. It's the Summer Fridays Iced Coffee um, Lip Balm. So, and I feel like that's pretty fall as well, you know. So, I absolutely love those things. But yeah, we are uh, gonna also go to TJ Maxx. It's another place I just haven't been to yet while we're here. Yeah, so we're gonna check it out, see if they have like a little uh, centerpiece bowl. Because we, when we bought those pumpkins, I thought about like putting it on our like dining table but we just don't have like a bowl like a dining table bowl to like put them in and I want to just I just want to be festive and like decorate so that's what we're gonna do it's a possibility oh wait, wait, wait. there's smaller ones here babe that could be really 
look cute. Actually, wait, let me, let me get the bottom one. No same size. Okay, so that's one option. So we ended up choosing this bowl for the centerpiece, and then we ended up finding a cool jacket for my husband. Show it, show it. Oh, so he's gonna match with me with my little flannel here. So I'm really excited. So we just came back from the store, and I'm really excited because now we're gonna put the pumpkins in this little bowl and see how it looks. But yeah, but I also just wanted to show you guys everything that I got from Trader Joe's. So we did end up getting some <laughs> Cacio y Pepe uh, chips. And then, of course, I got the pumpkin non-fat yogurts. Just love the cute little design they have on them. And then the girl that I'm talking about, her YouTube is Melanie Patricia Cruz. So shout out to her because she really inspired me to do this Trader Joe's haul and go get some pumpkin things from there. And so she also ended up getting the pecan pumpkin oatmeal, which I thought was a good idea too, like for like those like quick breakfasts that you want. Um, especially since like the weather's like getting colder, I feel like a nice oatmeal in the morning sounds great. And then I went all out honestly with these cookies because can't go wrong with uh, the Trader Joe's cookies, you know? So I have the pumpkin spice Jojo's. They're basically covered in yogurt coating. And then I also got the pumpkin flavored Jojo's. And then I also got the Halloween ones as well. You know, Halloween is coming up. So I'm really excited. I feel like we could do like a charcuterie board with all these cookies and just have like a fun night. And now we're gonna go ahead and decorate our pumpkins. So after I decorated my pumpkins, we started getting ready for dinner and my husband wanted to make a nice Cornish game hen dinner. And let me tell you, the end result of this beautiful meal was incredible, 10 out of 10. My husband is the chef of the house. And if you guys had fun watching this video today, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear from you. See you guys again next time.